Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be talking about the fragrances in my collection that have the note of chocolate. So this is going to be for my chocolate lovers, gourmand lovers, if you love those types of fragrances. We are going to be talking about chocolate today. Before I get started with my video, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy and I do videos on fragrance, beauty, self-care, and body care. If you like that type of content, then please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you doing today? I am so happy to have you here and I appreciate all of the love and the support. With that said, let's get into some chocolate fragrances. All right, guys. So for today's video, I wanted to do another one note fragrance video, and we are going to be talking about chocolate. So I'm going to be talking about white chocolate, chocolate, cacao, and I'm going to be separating them into those categories so that you guys know which ones they are. So I'm going to start off with white chocolate. When it comes to white chocolate, I feel like these fragrances are a little bit creamier, a little bit sweeter. They have a very smooth texture to them and that white chocolate just adds a ton of creaminess to the fragrance. So I have four fragrances in my collection that have white chocolate. I'm going to start off with this one because i pick the white chocolate up so much in this fragrance and this is by pinrose and this is secret genius so here is the packaging i think that they have changed the actual package of this fragrance but you can find this one at ulta i'm going to be leaving the link in the description box the main accords for this fragrance are sweet caramel vanilla woody powdery balsamic and chocolate so you're going to get caramel in this fragrance, white chocolate, Madagascar vanilla, sandalwood, and cedar. This fragrance to me is beautiful for just staying at home, for cuddling, for winter season. It is a very sweet yet, sweet yet woody type of fragrance because I do pick up on the wood as well and that caramel adds to the sweetness. So the white chocolate in here, I feel like it's more of a texture. Like it just helps with the texture of the fragrance. I feel like the white chocolate makes it very creamy, very smooth. And then the caramel adds a sweetness to it along with vanilla, sandalwood, and cedar. So that sandalwood and that cedar just makes it pack a punch because if not, it would probably be just too cloying. It gives it a little bit of a sexiness, a little bit of that woody touch to it. And although it's not a beast mode fragrance, it's not a crazy, you know, strong fragrance, but for cuddling, for being at home for every day, for a cold winter day, this is a beautiful fragrance. And that chocolate note really stands out in this one. Next, we're going to talk about one that I do not hear anyone talking about this fragrance, and this is a celebrity fragrance. This is Jessica Simpson 10, and this one is more on the fruity side, but it has white chocolate in it. Here is the beautiful bottle. It is like feathers in the top wrapping around the bottle. And the main accords for this fragrance are sweet, fruity, citrus, white floral, vanilla, tropical, floral, powdery, and woody. So the notes for this fragrance are clementine, water fruit, carambola, which is star fruit, nectarine, and plum. So you're going to get a very fruity opening. And then the middle notes are frangipani, tiger lily, jasmine, and orange blossom. And the base notes is white chocolate, vanilla, sandalwood, tonka bean, and driftwood. And I feel like this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I wish that it lasted a little bit longer, but it is a celebrity fragrance. It is very affordable. You get a super fruity, watery opening with this fragrance. And the chocolate is going to be found in the dry down of the fragrance. 
I really, really like the way that this fragrance is not linear at all. You get like a roller coaster with the notes in here because when it opens up, it's very watery, very fruity, sweet. And it has that same star fruit, which is, is in one of the Nicki Minaj fragrances. So it kind of reminds me to that one. But then in the dry down, you get that creamy chocolate vanilla vibe. And it is just really perfect for gourmand lovers. This one does not have that woody touch that I had in the Secret Genius. So um, this one is definitely more fruity with that chocolate and vanilla vibe. And the dry down is beautiful and you do get the chocolate in the dry down so this is a really really nice option if you want a fragrance with chocolate and it is very affordable i love wearing this one to bed you can wear this one as an everyday fragrance it's very casual not too sexy or not too like not a fragrance where you have to be dressed up to wear it this is very casual everyday perfect for winter type of fragrance and if you like chocolate, then this is definitely a good option. Up next in the white chocolate category is another celebrity fragrance. And this is Britney Spears Fantasy Intense. Here is the gorgeous bottle. And I did add this fragrance to my January tray. So I already fully tested this fragrance. And unfortunately, I don't know how I feel about it. So when I hauled it, I really, really liked it. I love the way that it smells from the bottle. I'm going to read the main accords. So the main accords are sweet, fruity, woody, patchouli, tropical, iris, powdery, fresh, and earthy. The top notes are kiwi, lychee, and pear. Middle notes are white chocolate, cupcake, jasmine, and orchid. And the base notes are patchouli, orris, woody notes, and musk. And this one, when I smell it on a paper or when i just sample it i really really like it but i wore it the other night and unfortunately on my skin the kiwi and the lychee are very loud and they kind of overpower the fragrance and the patchouli is also very strong on my skin so i can't really pick up the white chocolate on this fragrance but i am mentioning it because a lot of people are the opposite of me and they pick up the cupcake they pick up the white chocolate and they love this fragrance so i just wanted to mention it because i wish that i was one of those people that picked up more of the uh, sweet cupcake and chocolate notes but unfortunately for me the patchouli is very strong on it and those more tart and sour fruits are what likes to shine on my skin. I wish that it didn't, but I just still wanted to mention it because if you love the original Fantasy, I think that you would love this one. I used to wear the original Fantasy all the time when I was in high school. So maybe I have just outgrown that fragrance or that's just not my preference anymore. But this one, I think I'm going to give it away to someone in my family that might enjoy it more than me. But it does have white chocolate in it. Now we are going to be moving on to regular chocolate. So it could be chocolate, hazelnut, that type of vibe. So now for original chocolate, I am going to go in to one that stole my heart. I love this. Every time that I wear it, I just feel like a dessert, like I'm wrapped in just chocolate, but it is the most creamy, smooth chocolate. It is not like a powdery chocolate to my nose. And this is by Juliana's Perfume, and this is Call Me By Your Name. So this fragrance is inspired by Gourmand Coquin, I think is the name of the original one. And... I'm going to read the notes for this one. The notes are chocolate and pink pepper, vanilla, amber, and jasmine, and then the base notes are labdanum, benzoin, brown sugar, and musk. This, you guys, I love it so much, and it doesn't even look like I've worn this fragrance because honestly, these are 
extract the parfum so you're going to get even more concentration on the oil than a perfume so just one or two sprays of this and it is beautiful if it is if there is one fragrance that you get from juliana's perfume even though i love all of them and i cannot say enough good things about them this is just such a beautiful fragrance if you are a gourmand lover because if you do not like gourmands you're going to hate this but if you love that sweet gourmand chocolate type of fragrance this is a must-have in your collection this is like a smooth chocolate to me but then you still have like that beautiful musk and it still smells like a perfume so you still smell sexy you still smell very womanly very seductive but then that chocolate is very present so honestly this one reminds me a lot of another one that i'm going to talk about but i really prefer this one the way that they did chocolate in this fragrance is perfection this is probably my top chocolate fragrance out of all of these it is just smooth sweet but then it has this musky sexy vibe to it beautiful next up i'm going to be talking about prada and this is Prada Night. I love this bottle. I think that it is gorgeous. I love how it just gives night vibes. And honestly, to me, this is pretty much a chocolate version of Prada Candy. So yeah, it's Prada Candy Night. I believe I said Prada Night. The main accords for this one are Cacao, sweet, warm, spicy, vanilla, caramel, powdery, musky, citrus, and chocolate. So the top notes are iris, bitter orange, and neroli. Middle notes are vanilla, tonka bean, and the base notes are chocolate and patchouli. This fragrance I strictly save for winter time. I would not wear this in summer. I won't wear it in heat. I actually love this at nighttime in the winter, but it is gorgeous. It is, to me, a very strong fragrance. This lasts on me a pretty long time. And the chocolate in here, you feel the chocolate, but this one, I get more of that patchouli. It's, it packs a little bit more of a punch. Whereas this one is still very strong, but it's smooth. It's a little bit more rounded out. This one is a little bit sharper. Doesn't give me a headache or anything like that, but it is just, it's there. And to me, it is like a very dressed up type of chocolate. So this one is not the type that I would wear to cuddle or to bed or to be at home. This is strictly to go out with your makeup on, nice outfit, and you want to smell like a rich chocolate, but still like a strong woman, and you want your presence to be known because it is very sexy, very strong. The chocolate is more to me of like a darker chocolate, it is beautiful and to me it's just a very sexy chocolate scent next up is one that i am going to mention because it does have chocolate in it but to me chocolate is not the main note in the fragrance and this fragrance is full of just very seductive very rich type of notes and this is Kayali's invite only so I have the smaller bottle of this one and this one the main accords are sweet amber warm spicy tobacco cherry cinnamon woody nutty vanilla and honey so as you can see the chocolate is not really mentioned as a main accord but here are the notes you have tobacco leaf sour cherry honey chocolate and hazelnut in the opening then the middle notes are ceylon cinnamon may rose damask rose and citrus leaf and the base notes are amber agar wood vanilla benzoin cypriot oil sandalwood patchouli and musk so to me this is more concentrated on the tobacco the cherry 
a little bit of that honey. This is a strong fragrance, and this is one that, again, only for winter, only for colder weather for me, um, and for nighttime, for an evening out, it is just, it is a strong fragrance. It all, it reminds me a lot of Tom Ford fragrances, kind of like what Tom Ford, is it Noir Pour Femme, I believe is the fragrance. I don't own that one, but I do have a sample of that one. And they just remind me a lot of each other. It's very sexy, very provocative. And I don't pick up the chocolate in this one, but I am mentioning it because I know that we are all different and some of us pick up different notes in fragrances. So I am mentioning this one as it does have chocolate in the opening. I pick up more of the stronger notes in here. There's just, their, their presence is just so much stronger. So maybe the chocolate is in there, but it's a little bit more toned down that rose that slowly comes in to make it a little bit more feminine. Yeah, really, really nice fragrance if I was living somewhere with colder weather. And now for my last chocolate before I move on to cacao. And I have not even included this one in a haul yet. So you guys didn't even know that I owned this fragrance. I just got it recently. And this is by Mugler and this is Angel Muse EDT. So I did own the EDP and it is in one of my first declutters in my channel. I had to get rid of it because I purchased the EDP when I lived in Tampa and then shortly after we moved to Puerto Rico and that fragrance here is a bomb. It is almost unbearable. It is beautiful. I think that the fragrance is such a beautiful, it is well done the way that it is blended the notes everything about it is an experience but i got curious about owning the edt because everyone has mentioned that it is a little bit less in your face it's not as strong but you still get the chocolate notes in there so i am going to be reading the notes for this one but if you want a beautiful beautiful chocolate fragrance and you live in colder weather try out angel muse the edp i will put a picture of the bottle if i live somewhere let's say i lived in chicago or somewhere that it was just cold winter i would definitely have that in my collection so i have to mention it because the chocolate in that one it is a chocolate explosion it is like a hazelnut it opens up with like a more fruity note. I forgot which note is in the opening, but as soon as that kind of dries down and you start getting the base notes, the chocolate is just an explosion of chocolate. And I still remember how amazed I was with that fragrance. Now the main accords for the EDT are sweet, woody, fruity, chocolate, aromatic, tropical, citrus, fresh, nutty, and oud. So the top notes are passion fruit, mandarin, orange, and lemon. And then the middle notes are hazelnut, cocoa spread, cassis. The base notes are vetiver, akigala wood, chocolate, and caramel. So you have a double dose of chocolate in here because you have a hazelnut, cocoa spread, and then in the base you have chocolate. So this is for a chocolate lover. And I really think that the EDT can do way better here. And I still think that it needs to be cool for me to pull this one off here in Puerto Rico because this is still a beast. Like it's beast mode, even though this is an EDT version. I don't know if I showed you guys the bottle, but it is a very unique bottle. And the opening, you get that blast of the passion fruit and it does last for a little bit before you move on to that chocolatey vibe. Yeah, it's starting to come through. So the opening is very bright, very citrusy, very fruity. And then the middle notes and the base is where you get the chocolate. Mm, it's so good. It is a very strong fragrance. This to me is going out somewhere very nice. You're dressed up really nice, your makeup is done, and you want to just 
get the attention you want your fragrance to enter the room before you even enter the room this is the type of fragrance that you go for if you don't like attention that way which i tend to be a little bit more on the shy side but there's days that you want to smell strong there's days that you don't mind being the center of attention and feeling like you smell amazing this is really good for that oh, and the chocolate just mixes so well with those fruity notes and it is just a strong strong fragrance so if you are a little bit sensitive to fragrances i would definitely test this one before purchasing a full-size bottle because it's definitely not for everyone and it's not a safe blind buy but the chocolate notes in here are just beautiful now that we are done with that i'm going to move on to cacao which I, to me has a little bit more of a dry powdery type of chocolate vibe so i am going to start off with one that i went back and forth with if you guys have followed me for a long time you probably know which one it is and this is hugo boss the scent private accord here is the i think the bottle is so gorgeous i always thought this bottle was just beautiful the color really really pretty bottle the main accords for this fragrance are cacao warm spicy citrus sweet coffee fruity vanilla floral and amber the top note is mandarin orange the middle note is coffee and osmanthus and the base notes are cacao and tonka bean so this one to me is more of your cacao powder it's a little bit more powdery oh, but it's so good and the reason why i was gonna get rid of this one was because i used this so much for one or two months and i kind of like got tired of it but if you give yourself a break and you take this out after a month of not wearing it it is just magical it's so unique the way that the mandarin orange mixes in with those other notes especially the cacao it's beautiful it is so nicely done and this is the one that i was talking about that i kind of compare with call me by your name except that this one is more sweet chocolate and this one is more powdery chocolate to me but it is so amazing it is beautiful if you haven't tried this fragrance yet i find it very sexy very it's sexy in like an eatable way like you, i just want to eat you up when you smell this type of fragrance really really nice and unfortunately the longevity on this is not long at all but if you don't mind reapplying it is an amazing beautiful chocolate scent to have in your collection hands down for sure i would pick this one next up we're going to move into one that i'm still kind of like getting to know it better i don't know how i feel about it some days i love it other days i'm like you're a little bit too much for me but overall i think that it's beautiful and this is Roberto Cavalli's Deep Desire. Another one that doesn't really get talked about too much. Here is the bottle for this one. The main accords for this one are vanilla, cacao, warm, spicy, sweet, citrus, white floral, patchouli, amber, balsamic, and woody. The top notes are mandarin, orange, and pink pepper. Middle notes are cacao, orange, blossom, jasmine, some back, and the base notes are vanilla, tonka bean, and patchouli this one is a very sexy sexy scent definitely one to go out with mm, it's good it is when it comes to all the other chocolate ones i feel like this one the orange blossom in here and the mandarin orange just give it like this very feminine touch to it so you get the florals in here i definitely get the jasmine so just imagine like a jasmine and a orange blossom that are sprinkled with cacao and the cacao in this one is not too powdery it's the perfect amount of 
chocolate but i wouldn't say that this is a chocolate fragrance so the other ones the main star is chocolate here i feel like it just helps to add to all the other notes um definitely a sexy very unique fragrance i don't think that i have anything else in my collection that smells like this fragrance super super unique if you're one of those people that doesn't like to have too much of the same thing, I feel like there are a lot of unique fragrances in this batch that I talked about, but Prada Candy Night, Deep Desire, The Scent Private Accord, they're just very unique fragrances that I'm sure you won't have perfumes in your collection that smell the same. And... This is very feminine, very, I just picture like a very seductive woman wearing this with like a deep red lipstick and she's just very like tempting, seductive, very grown woman. Mm, smells so, so good. And then the last one I'm going to talk about, I don't have the full size bottle, but I do want the full size bottle eventually. And this is YSL's Black Opium Extreme. When this fragrance was released, I pretty much just forgot about my original Black Opium and it was pretty much like move over to the side, the extreme version is here and they got it right with the coffee, but not just coffee because coffee is the main star in the extreme, but they added cacao and you definitely get that vibe in this one. So the main accords are warm, spicy, coffee, vanilla, cacao, white floral, patchouli, sweet, woody, and balsamic. The notes for this one are coffee and cacao in the opening. Then you have jasmine, some back, orange blossom, and the base notes are bourbon, vanilla, and patchouli. So when you spray black opium extreme, you get this beautiful coffee and cacao it is the perfect mixture of both so you're going to get you're going to get hit with that coffee that's probably going to be the main thing that you pick up but if you notice you're going to get that cacao powdery texture as well it is just such a beautiful combination and i feel like the original pretty much should have been this because they just nailed it it is amazing the florals are in the background, but it's not like the original Black Opium where the florals kind of take over. I feel like in this one, the coffee is the star of the show and the florals are kind of in the background, just adding that feminine touch, that sexy vibe to it. But the coffee and the cacao are definitely what makes the fragrance unique what adds that grounded touch to the fragrance and this is just a very overall a beautiful beautiful fragrance so those are my chocolate fragrances i hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you so so much for being here with me today comment down below if there are any chocolate fragrances that you guys have tried that i should try because you guys always give me amazing recommendations so i'm excited to hear your thoughts subscribe if you haven't subscribed give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next video Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking.